Isaiah McKinnon now, former police chief in Detroit, now a CNBC contributor. Isaiah, how should police departments, based on your experience, really across the country, be approaching this surge in gun violence? You know, Shepard, we've had so many violent incidents over the past year or so. But I, I can tell you from personal experience, walking a beat, interacting with the people in the community, they actually saved my life. They told me there's going to be someone who's going to try and kill you tonight. And you know, we were able to make a lock up there. As what they're doing in Chicago and other places, and we were certainly doing here in Detroit, having that community action, having those interactions with people to make a difference, not only within their respective community, but also with the, with the police departments. Is the fallout from COVID and COVID lockdowns complicating the situation for police? I think it absolutely is. You know, the, the officers are afraid of catching uh, something. The women, the uh, community people are afraid of catching something. But I think in addition to that, there's domestic violence. The, the schools are closed. There's, there's confrontations. There's a fear of the unknown. And when this happened, there's depression and there's an explosion in violence that we've seen throughout these years. And so I, I think what we have to do in, in law enforcement is to understand that there are all these things that are occurring. How do we stop this? And by doing these things that they're doing in Chicago, what we're doing here in Detroit, and having officers on the street interacting with people to make them feel more comfortable and, and make them feel as if we are concerned about their safety. Chief President Biden set to address the nation day after tomorrow about policing. H how should he approach this issue? I think the first thing that the president should do is look at the mental health uh, uh, issues and those people and those areas that have been closed down for years. And what we'll see is that let's look at those people who have some serious mental health problems and what should be done to help them. You know, by having either officers or other people respond with officers in those kinds of situations, and hopefully it will eliminate or alleviate some of the problems that we've had. We've had uh, people released from prisons who had some serious problems. In addition to people who, as a result of COVID and other things, they've had some serious problems. And now we look at uh, the possibility of this uh, making it worse than what we're doing right now. Mm. Chief, Chief Isaiah McKinnon, thanks so much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.